Hello everybody, and today we're going to be looking at the Los Bufones series, painted by Spanish artist Velázquez. And for just a little bit about Velázquez, he was born in Seville, which was the cultural capital of Spain during the Golden Age. And this age is just used to characterize the works by Murillo, El Greco, Zerberon, Cotan, and just the flourishing of Spanish arts in general. Velázquez was an apprentice with Francisco Pacheco, and he was also influenced by Caravaggio's earlier Baroque style and also Renaissance works such as paintings by Titian as well. He is most notable for being a court painter to Philip IV, who was the all-important, all-powerful reigning monarch of Spain. And his most famous painting, actually, which hangs in the Prado Museum, is Las Meninas, or Ladies in Waiting. It depicts the Infanta Margarita, her attendants, and also portraits of the king and queen in the mirror. And most importantly, Velázquez painted himself, which signifies the increasing importance of the artist as an individual. And here's just Las Meninas here. And also there's very interesting perspective. If you see in the left hand side, Velázquez is painting a canvas that seems to come out towards the viewer, which is also characteristic of Baroque. This painting and several other Velázquez's and also Goya's, as I mentioned, are in the Prado Museum in Madrid today. And just for a little bit about the Baroque period, this art period is characterized by naturalism, drama, chiaroscuro, tenorism, emotion, viewer involvement, and the split second action. So the canvas, you, the canvas you see protruding out towards the viewer's space really involves the viewer. And also prominent diagonal compositions, more in the Southern Italian Baroque, were very common. However, Spain's Baroque paintings tended to be a little bit more natural, not as idealized or with mythological subjects. There was a preference for truthfulness, and this led to the development of the bodega painting, which means scenes of everyday life. However, Velázquez also painted courtiers, royalty, and also, at least in his case, mythology, even though he did more court portraits. The painting shown here is the Forge of Vulcan, which is a very cool painting because you see they're gods, but they have human, if not a little bit idealized, bodies. And the series we are going to be looking at in depth is the Los Buffones, and this depicts the court gesture, gestures of Philip IV. And by gestures, I mean dwarfs, people with mental retardation. They were just meant to amuse the royalty of Spain. And this first painting we are looking at is the jester Don Sebastian de Mora which Velázquez painted in 1645. And this painting depicts a dwarf in a very truthful and almost rugged way. And that's really evident in the way his face is depicted. The brushstrokes, especially on his clothing, are not blended completely. And also, if you look at his clenched fists, they're just kind of a nondescript you know, mess of paint. And Mora stares right out at the viewer, really visually confronting us, which was a hallmark of Baroque art. And also his expression looks very angry, as if he's trapped in a body that's meant to amuse others. He's not even a person anymore, he's a thing. And at least in my opinion, the most notable aspect about this image is the foreshortening. And if you see in his feet, it looks like they're coming out towards the viewer, and it also emphasizes Mora's small, short, compact stature. And also just some other characteristics, you see the rich color, such as the red cape. And there's also a little bit of chiaroscuro, as you see the somewhat bright face of Mora and the, the darker background. And this really uh, reveals Mora's personality, and Velázquez is treating him very humanely. He's a real person, he's not laughable or meant to amuse people, he's actually looking right out at the viewer. Also, the next painting we are looking at in this series is called the Jester Calabasias, or Calabasas. It was created in 1637, and just for a little bit of background, a calabash is actually a type of gourd or melon. And so Velasquez is, is really using a pun on words here because this man is supposed to be mentally retarded, so his head is empty as a gourd. There's also an incomplete blending of pigments, for example, on the collar. And this reminded me of the 
quote, salad of brush strokes, which is present on the corsage of the Infanta Margarita in Las Meninas, which you just saw. And also on the ground next to Calabasas, there is playthings and toys. And he's also illuminated through chiaroscuro. You see the light head and the darker background. And the man depicted here is seated, so the viewer is looking down on him, which conveys a sense of inferiority to the viewer and ultimately to Philip IV. This man is nowhere near as important as the people who would be viewing this image. However, again, as in the Don Sebastian de Mora painting, Velasquez treats this subject with more humanity and also in a more sensitive way. Final image for today is court dwarf Don Francisco Lescano, called El Nino de Vallejas, which Velasquez painted in 1637. Again, there is foreshortening in the feet like Don Sebastian de Mora, and the figure is toying with several letters in his hands. Vallecas, if you were wondering, is a village in Madrid that is traditionally known for being a working class. And Francisco here is shown as innocent, unaware, and more childish compared to the angry face and the attentiveness of Mora, another dwarf. Interestingly, there's a blue, hazy, and sort of stormy looking background behind Francisco, which I thought was similar to the swirling background in The Surrender of Breda that Velasquez painted in 1634. And again, to chiaroscuro, naturalism. And here's just a picture of The Surrender of Breda, which is also in the Prado Museum. And just for a little bit of history on this painting, it's when the Dutch colony of Breda surrendered to the general or the Spanish general Spinola. And you see him in a very fatherly way, and he's accepting the key from the humble Dutchman. And also, look at the spears, or the lances. On the right side, you have the victors, and their lances are very straight, upright. While on the left, you have the people who are defeated, and their lances are all broken, and just going every which way. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed this series. Hello everybody, and today we are going to be looking at Ideal City with the founding Statues of the Virtues. And it was painted by Fra Carnavale, and this is an oil on wood image. It was painted in 1500 CE, and it, it exemplifies all the characteristics of the high southern renaissance, which basically just means in Italy. Also during this time, Michelangelo was sculpting David, Raphael was doing his famous frescoes in the Stanza della Signaturia in the Vatican, and basically the Renaissance was just flowering and many different innovations in art were around at this time. And this image, which was actually commissioned by Montefeltro, who was the Duke of Urbino, it depicts an ideal city with geometric buildings, tiny people, and calm weather. And this picture coming up here is Fra Carnival.